Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Hello, everybody. We're back. Just in time. Just in time. Okay. We have your images Ooh. there. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Adobe Creative Cloud live stream, adobelive.com. And I'm here with Dorothy. Laura. Sorry. I don't know what it's going to call her, Dorothy. Laura. And Laura's a photographer, and Laura's going to show us. What are you going to show us? Um, some of my personal favorites that sure. I thought I could bring, um, and then quite a lot of before and afters that All I. Right. Well, Laura, for the people that don't know you, first let's start off with what. What do you focus on with your photography? Mm -hmm. I'm definitely focused on poetry and people. Poetry and um, people, okay. And then, more specifically, I'm never working with artificial light. I'm always being like searching for existing lights outside yep. um, that inspire me. So natural mm -hmm. light? Definitely. Good. And um, always searching for moods and little stories, kind of. That's what I want to convey moods. in my picture. Yeah. Passion, moods. Definitely. Great. <laughs> awesome. And you brought some stuff to show us. Definitely. Now, we where do, we, where do with, you want to go? Um, we could start with these, like just one of them. Okay, I wonder, should I uh, just do that? Yeah, I think that's, okay. I think that's fine. That. So this, for example, I was um, shooting with a friend of mine um, in Stuttgart, like in the south of Germany, where I come from. And, and everybody in the chat saying hi, so say hi to everybody. Oh, wow, hi. <laughs> I will like every now and then have a look if I recognize a name. But that's cool. Yeah. Um, okay, so continue. Yeah. You're, you're telling us about this. And we were just running through the city. Normally I shoot in uh, nature, rather. So it was okay. a challenge to be in the city. And uh, we found this door reflecting the sun going down between trees. And I was like, this would look so beautiful on, fa on a face. And we were like sneaking her in because it was not a public room. And then taking photos th through this uh, glass. And I don't know, it was a great new little challenge to work with this and uh, think about how the reflection would look nice on a face. Um, Got it. Yeah. That so is it's a simple one, but. And, and I agree with Annis. That is an amazing photo. <laughs> Thank you. Everyone That's loves so cool. you. <laughs> love her. That's so love cool her. to see all this yes. popping up. Greetings, uh, Colombia, South America. There's a mistake in my family name. Isn't it Salanga? Hmm. Okay. People will all find right. out. So, what do we have next? I think it's top here? probably down. Oh, yeah, probably. Or maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Hold on. Maybe we have to. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, and then, I, I, I didn't say that so far, but I do a lot of self portraiture too. Um, just because I can run out of the house at five o'clock in the morning. Wait, is that like really a hill? Of, yeah. yeah so you, okay. <laughs> um, so I have to ask because I don't know if you Photoshop yeah, it together right, in a, there a or what. Yeah, definitely. A lot of people assumed it here. Yeah. Um, and I guess I don't know. I would have thought that too, actually, if, if I wouldn't have been there. Yeah. Um, I saw well, I mean, that. it looks very real, so that's why I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Get Photoshop or reality? Yeah. Photoshop um, re reality. Yeah. I saw that from the train, like driving home, and then I was like, I have to get there because it was this massive coal hill in, in the middle of nowhere. And I was like, this could look so cool as a location because I haven't seen it that often. Mm -hmm. um, and I just like drove there with a the car, with my tripod, and climbed up that hill, which was so hard. I didn't imagine it because if you make two, one step ahead, right, you're, it gets you, like, yeah, you're you're half a step in. back. Yeah, I know. And uh, I looked so funny in the end, being like completely covered in black things. <laughs> Driving back home, people were looking at being like, she's sitting in the car, she's completely covered in black so stuff. So like, what, what oh. was the temperature like? Like, as I see you. That was coldish. Yeah, I was going to say, it, <laughs> the sky's like kind of gone. So I was like, is it I cold it was or is it? Yeah, just German a bad spring. Day. So okay, no, German no, no. spring. Got yeah, it. it was okay. it was rather cold, but I don't feel it during shooting. I'm like so much into getting up the hill. And plus, you worked up some heat definitely. getting up the hill. Yeah, it was okay. a workout. Um, and I think the next one we have is like a closer one because yeah. often oh, I work in. I love that. You can see like how dirty it was in the end, right. like completely covered in the black things. Um, and you can already see like the moody things. It's never really like sunshiny, happy. Right, I like yeah. to have some me um, melancholy. It's so hard to pronounce that in English. No, you said <laughs> you, you saw this and you decided to go up and shoot. Yeah. So you didn't plan to go do mm -mm -mm, this. Never. This was a spur of the yeah. moment. Yeah. I saw it and was like, this is such a unique, beautiful location. With all like, it's so simple, but you can still see the texture and you can imagine what's probably happening behind that hill. That inspired me a lot. And the light just being like hitting on some of the little um, coals. Yeah. 
And then she laying there being like, um, I love that you can't really tell if is she like, did she wander through that black desert all night and right. she slept there or I don't know what happened. And I like that a little bit that you can't and really tell that everyone who looks at it can make up their own story. And I imagine the rocks were cold too. They were, yeah, yeah I think they were. Yeah. Oh, they were even a little bit wet because it was an oh. early morning. So they were like, they had <laughs> dew on it. Yeah, dew, uh, yeah. that's the right word, yeah. That was, yeah, but I don't know, in the end it's like. Okay. So someone's asking, could you talk a little oh. bit about the cameras and lenses, like mm -hmm. for this particular shot? What did, you, um, what did you use? I think all of the photos I brought, maybe the very, very, very old ones not, but all of the newer ones are shot with a Nikon D600. Nikon D600, mm -hmm. okay. And I think most of the time, 50 millimeter 1.8 or 30 millim uh, 35 1.8. That's the ones I normally use. And um, yeah, that's probably all. Then I have my tripod and then I have like a, remote control like not yeah. not with a cable, cable but or without a wireless like, remote. Yeah, yeah exactly okay. um that's actually it that's like it. really so basic Simple. because i don't bring flashes or reflectors because you're using natural light yeah. yeah so it's pretty easy it's just like and that's backpack. interesting so you don't even even with natural light you don't even bring reflectors i sometimes when i do like really like portrait shootings with someone else um okay. but like if you do that alone it's pretty hard to and i don't really take that much close yeah. up so and what about like a diffuser do you ever like try or, also not really. well, let me ask you this, do you ever go out and shoot at the wrong times of day, like middle mm. of the day or are you always in the morning and evenings where the light's better? I really, really try to be up in the really early morning. That's so my time that's, that inspires then me. Then that would explain why you don't need a diffuser yeah. because the light's right. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. I mean, no, I really like try to run away from sunlight from the yeah. sun. I mean, most <laughs> photographers do. Most we know that too. illness. All right, if you're out shooting in the middle of the day, it's probably not going to be a great shot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, some people are really good at that. I still have to learn Oh, that. yeah, yeah. No, I'm not saying that it can't be done, mm, but you're, you're, you're working hard yeah, when definitely. you're doing it that way. <laughs> so someone's asking, uh, 3D Stream's asking, do you spend much time post-processing? That's like so hard to answer because it's like sometimes five minutes sometimes two hours. We will definitely see some of the before and afters later. Okay. And um, for that one, for example, um, I sometimes try to uh, shot in the live view mode with when it is already the 16 to 9 um, format. But that's something I often edit in afterwards. Um, and then definitely did some contrast and some colors probably. I think it was a little bit more bluish in and reality. And is this all Photoshop or some Lightroom mm. or some Camera Raw or some like what? Mostly I'm so like addicted to Photoshop. Photoshop, okay. If I really have like a longer series, I go to Instagra uh, Instagram, wow, no. uh, to Lightroom. I don't think you're editing in Instagram. <laughs> no, wow, that'd be, that'd be cool. Like yeah, if I would cool, do all of this, then Instagram, I would probably right. be a pro. And yeah. <laughs> um, no, definitely being like on Lightroom for the longer, when it's really more photos and it makes sense to have like okay. a consistent color. Color or look across multiple on. photos. But and in case where it's a specific photo, you're Definitely. straight to Photoshop. Yeah. Okay. I'm so much into the little details. Or All right, like I got, I got a question. I got, I, this is my question. On average, mm -hmm. how many layers will you end up with? Oh my God, this is so <laughs> funny because no, no, no. I think you will think now I have a lot yeah. and I'm definitely so bad at this because I'm, I always feel like, like a painter more, I think. I'm, mm -hmm. If I have one layer and I did what I did, then I'm most often closing it down and then starting with the next thing I want to do. I'm so bad at doing all these non-destructive things because I, I don't want to go back. Welcome to my club. Yeah? I'm the same no, way. So yes, all like, I, I know. That's why this. I ask because whenever I'm doing a stream and someone's, oh my God, you're working with just one layer yeah. of I'm so destructive. It's like, well. I like it yeah, that way. That's, I'm okay I will with that. maybe learn right. it eventually well, it's because not, it's it probably matter, looks cooler. You know how layers work. It's <laughs> yeah. just a matter of, like you said, if you don't feel that you're ever going to need to go yeah. back and make a change to that thing, why then I why would it? you keep the layer? Because yeah. that's what the layer is for, is to yeah. be able to go back and make a change to it. So I, I sometimes do it for like if I really have like a client work I'm and I so know... I'm so happy to hear you say that. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> um, but for my own work, I'm always like, I know this is how I want to look this, yeah. and then it's fine. And by the way, nothing against layers. If you like working with oh, 100 yeah. layers, by all means, work with 100 layers. That's what they're for. You're cool if you work with yeah, layers. If you work with layers, you're I'm cool. Just, we're not cool. We're yeah. not the cool kids. <laughs> we're all little group. Right. Yeah. Yeah. One or two, three yeah. at the most. I start getting nervous when it's when I close the file and it has like five layers in it. I'm like, oh my god, it's got oh, too that's many. That's a lot. I know. See, <laughs> that's a lot. Great. Exactly. Great. All right. 
Um, let's see what else we have in the chat here. Ah, that's, a, that's interesting. Yeah. Do you okay, so the question is, how do you deal with self-portraiture and do you ever struggle that it's always the same face you're capturing and my reflections in there? And how do you get inspired? Uh, how do you get inspired all over again? So, um, do you struggle with the, I mean, definitely. It's always the same person. Yeah. Um, but often I just don't show the face. I mean, okay, here you can see, but with the other one, with the smaller one, we right, showed before, see. you yes. couldn't see it. And um, then somehow I tend to change my hairstyle quite often. So this is the long brown hair. So I'm, I feel like a different person now. Yeah. And then, um, just photos from really from the back, like you can only see someone walking away or something like that. Um, and then I try to mix it up with close ups and far away or like really tiny, you can't even tell. It could be anyone. Yeah. Um, that's actually something I really like um, about the thought of self portraiture that I think most often this is not Laura to me. Mm -hmm. Here could be a little bit Laura, but in the smaller one, this is not Laura. It's the person that I invented to tell that story, and when I climb up that hill, I I, I slip so into this role. So you separate yourself definitely. personally from the from, character. Yeah, definitely. Not for photographing. all. Yeah. I definitely have like a clear line in my head that some photos are self-portraits. Okay. And that some other portraits, I call them not myself portraits. So it's like, it's someone else. I'm Got just it. that, the physical hill, like thing that is that on the picture, but it's not Laura. That's okay. why often it doesn't really feel like a self-portrait. But it's hard probably to explain that to people who I don't know, I'm not familiar to the work, I'm not familiar to self-portraiture. All right, and a couple other questions. Let's mm -hmm. see here. Uh, how many pictures do you take in your average shoot? Oh, that's also a good question. What's so interesting, how, like, when I was younger, it was so, so many pictures, mm -hmm. crazy. And nowadays, sometimes it's 10 pictures. I'm like, wow. I know okay. what I want. I, like, just do some well, because different compositions. you're the client. Yeah, that's so true. So you kind of know when you reach the photo or you you got the one you needed Definitely. or you got the shot yeah uh, for easy. me i would say most of my shoots are at least two to three hundred or more yeah i mean but if you do a whole it's session because i'm doing right i'm doing a whole session that's exactly. so different yeah. and i'm always aiming for like one two or three photos from one shoot okay. probably not yeah more. we all are and then if you get one great photo from a shoot consider yourself yeah a, yeah a normally i work for one yeah. And then sometimes I'm like, oh, there's a second one that I quite like for these two right. with the coal hair, for example. But not a lot more, definitely. Yep. Cool. Yeah. And I saw another one here that I was going to ask you. Uh, what motivates you to continue oh, taking wow. pictures economically, politically, intellectually, or emotionally? Oh, wow. Like, any, like if any, which of this is the most that motivates me? I guess all of them. Like... I probably not that much politically, which I like, especially after Helena was here. I'm like, I should do this too. She's so cool. Um, I guess emotionally, definitely one of the biggest motivators for me um, to um, like get things like um, done with yeah. in my head to, I don't know, reflect on them. And then economically, I think not really political, not economically, but um, I think I try sometimes to spread a little message and I want to do that a lot more like in my projects coming up next year to also include some, some things that I really believe in. Good. For example, like I'm really like active on animal rights, for example, yeah. and I definitely want to bring these things in, but in my own style, which is like, you have to find, first find how to do this. Right. So these two are big motivators and then just. I love doing it. <laughs> and I see a question here. We, I think we already addressed it, but we'll just re-emphasize the best mm -hmm. time of day for you is morning. Definitely. Yeah. I Early love morning. that light. Okay. I guess all people, like all photographers are like morning and evening light is nice, like yeah. especially with the sun because it's Well, like, I hate softer. getting up early, so it's usually evening for me. <laughs> I'm so much of a morning person. I am not a morning person I love this to be all. like, it's still everything silent. Yeah. Everyone's still asleep. Oh, and, and, and the water is the most still yeah, and everything. Everything. It's is. great in the morning if you're up. <laughs> Definitely. I, I love the calmness. No, I don't mind it when I'm traveling to do a shoot at mm -hmm. a location. Like I just got back from Iceland mm -hmm. a few weeks ago. Mm. And so I didn't mind getting up every morning yeah. there because I'm there. That's what I'm there for. Yeah, that's true. But if it's just, hey, During get up week. and shoot San Diego in the morning, that hasn't happened so far this week. I don't know. Sometimes I just have like an alarm and look out of the window and be like, do I like the light? Is there maybe fog or is there something that inspires me? And then I'm either now, are say, you So you're looking at the light first thing in the morning versus being out there when the light comes up? It's, it depends. Sometimes depends. I'm really okay. just, oh, I just got up and then I'm like, oh, that's so beautiful. And sometimes I really like have a clock because I know like um, 
this time of the year there could be fog let's see if there's fog and then it depends on the mood sometimes I'm like okay no this is not inspiring me and then I just don't do it and sometimes I really get up and be like oh yeah let's do this yep. okay so the Photoshop and Lightroom question came up which she addressed mm -hmm. she's mostly Photoshop uh, yeah. Lightroom if it's a series of photos mm -hmm. definitely but I'm so um, I will show photos later um, when I was on master photography that show we only had Lightroom and um, it was like it was good and bad first it was super cool because I finally had to d d like go deeper into Lightroom yep. and like find out things that I never even knew existed in Lightroom um, that was really really cool and I found so many new things it could do cool. and um, hey, what's up? Did you create like a slideshow? And oh then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I can I can do that. Oh, are um, we doing? Do you want to go to the next one or do you want, he wants like can we yeah, run it as a slideshow? Sure, slide we can definitely go to the next yep. one. Okay. And then it was also like I first yeah, we're realized we're spending too much time on the same. Yeah, photo. definitely. I thought that for a second, <laughs> but then I was getting confused. Right. <laughs> anyway, like I said that um, I was missing Photoshop too. I was just realizing how many things are like like separate these two programs. Yep. And I was like, oh, okay, this is what I really really love about Photoshop that Lightroom can't do, and vice versa. Got yeah, it. can we do a slideshow release? Well, I think we can if we do this. Or we just click through them. Yeah. I can say like a few words with all of them. All right, let's do this. Soon. This should work now. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this yeah, was And for... we can do a slideshow if we need to. Ah, cool. All right. Um, so this was in Tuscany for a photo meetup, which I often do with my photo friends. Sure. And um, it was it was actually funny because it's just water that is on the wall for the wings mm -hmm. um, and so many people asked me what it was and it was just really just water I think that the, these Tuscany houses are like with the material they're built oh, on. I love that. <laughs> yeah, I will say something about that later yeah. too um, and the owner just came around the corner of the house and I saw that and he was really too was like what did you just throw on that wall and I was like it's just water just he was water. still not really looking amused but yeah. I know I had that idea, idea in my mind being like was it an indoor wall or an outdoor wall it was outdoor so okay it was outdoor wall it was also just water. super cold so that poor guy <laughs> yeah. because you think of Tuscany is warm but it was not yeah. uh, but I just lo love that thought of um, oh that's one for show um, of having that wings of something that, that would dry away that yep. was the thought I really really liked got it um, let's see what comes up after the next time we are at this. All right, so um, we left off on that one, mm -hmm. and then we went to this. This is Belgium, um, when we also had a meetup, and it was a really early morning, obviously. These two are I the same. That, yeah, they're from like half an hour in between. So this okay. was one where I had like two photos from one series that I shot there, and we were just running around in this foggy field, and um, I liked the mood. And then for the one with the spider web, um, yeah. I was. It was. It's a self-portrait too, and, and that again, was a hard one with the sharpness. That, Okay, I'm going out to shoot my face behind a spider web, or you just happen to see no, a spider, no, spider no, no. web and yeah. it inspired you to do it. Definitely okay. the second. I saw it and it was like, this could look nice, could like look jewelry nice. or yeah. something in front of the face. And so you're um, always observing what's around you yeah. and will it make a good Definitely. photo. Got That's it. how a photography really changed my life, I'd say. I'm just walking around now and looking at the carpet over here, thinking, like, could this be a good thing to yeah. shoot at? Or could that hammock over there could be a, sh a cool place? Or how about that person over there? Maybe I'd love to include that person into a photo shoot. Like, scanning everything I see. And I love that. It's so much okay. fun. So Ben's asking a technical question. Do uh -huh. you dodge and burn? And if so, do you use um, curved layer masks? Oh, my Curves gosh. Or layer masks, oh, my yeah. God. This will be so embarrassing for... I, I don't know. I Like, everything I learned about Photoshop, I just did it by like like trial and error, trial and error. yeah well, you're not alone a lot and of people learn that's that good <laughs> i just love doing it that way but like yeah. just finding it out like a little like climbing a mountain mm -hmm. on your own i loved it um so i i kind of sometimes use dutch and burn but like nothing like not on masks or layers or something so mm -hmm. <laughs> definitely not anything that could be like like re like um erased afterwards but again i just know what i want and i do it like carefully so it's not like and I mean you can go steps back so yeah. it's fine but I guess never with any layers oh gosh never with layers. <laughs> people will hate me be like and she calls herself a photographer I'm sorry well you're a photographer you didn't say you were a photoshop yeah, expert there's a difference I'm not I just yeah. love it to pieces right. really I just I don't know what my life would be without because it's like a wonder world you would see that in the before and afters that we have um that I'm like completely drawn to it um but sometimes you just don't eat that much and I don't know. Then it's also working and I'm still saying rather photographer than editor. Got it. So what else do we have? There's I mean, one there are, more I'm going to stop oh, yeah. on when it comes back around. 
Oh yeah, from these. Yeah, from yeah, these. Yeah, just just Hang stop on. me. No, not me, but not them. This one. That's also from the show. So we shot that at Cherry Fountain, and that was not also for one. the show. Um, that was the task was new. This one. Ah, oh, yeah, this. So is tell me about this. Um, how high up were you on this one? Like, um, how much did you have to climb to make this this shot happen? The bad thing is, do I see this in meters? Because okay, I only know fine. meters. Yeah, yeah that's fine. <laughs> um, it was maybe something like five, I guess. So I was walking around like. The, the corner. So like, you were up top and climbed down? Uh, or were no, you we down were, we here were the, you we climbed were, up? We were down okay. and then I climbed up and put my tripod up there and I was so lucky because the camera team was, was with me because it was so windy and I did not break anything to fix like the tripod on that rock. Okay. So um, I was like running up there and then had the camera being there. Uh, someone was filming, someone was holding the tripod and I was like running back down there uh, to leave my clothes somewhere around the corner. Is mm -hmm. that even? No, it's not. I was no. like, is that piece of my clothes? <laughs> Did I forget to Photoshop that out? <laughs> and then it was laying there, which was, that was so much colder than the coal hill. Oh, I can imagine. I was on fever that day and it was freezing, freezing, freezing cold. And I was like, yeah, but still, I want this picture to look like exactly like that. So yeah. we do this and then we go back into the car and get warm again. And it was so much fun. And there were some people walking around being like, um, what, what, what exactly are they doing there? Right. But I have a lot of people thinking that probably during my shootings. Ah, art. <laughs> right. Okay. Now let's see. Oh. We can go back out and see where we are. Okay, that's the one we were on. All right, did we talk about this one yet? Yeah, that was in the same field with the um, one with the spider web. Okay. And I think I brought it because it's such a, my self portraits normally are really like fragile, I'd say, or vulnerable a little bit. And that one is the stronger one, and this is why I like, I don't know, I like that moment where I felt strong in a photograph. Mm -hmm. That was so different for me. Um, other than that, I just really love the location and that big tree covering that, that, that whole like top area of the picture. I enjoyed that so much. Um, yeah, but there's not really a story with this. Got it. And then, then now the like this little flip up for your skirt mm -hmm. there is that you did it or is it yeah, wind it was, induced or no, okay. I wish I mean, we, I we all think that, it's the wind. No, actually for this one I really wanted it to look like she's really walking. Okay. And I actually think I did that. I did a big step and kicked my foot forward, and then it was like it was like the the dress was like flowing up a little bit. And um, all the. Um, the atmospheric haze in the background that's real that was really real that was yeah really there. Okay. I, did, I think i did quite a bit on like contrast and like i think i darkened it down a little bit probably um but other than that it was really a fantastically beautiful location and do you scout your locations or you just mm. happen upon them it's rather like just happen to happen find them, them. yeah okay. i mean here we were we had like a rented house like somewhere a little bit up the mountain and then we were just wandering around in the morning and we saw that field and there were some other beautiful trees on that field and the fog and we were like, okay, this is a beautiful location. That's yeah. awesome. Okay, let's see here. All right. That, yeah, was this, the one. Oh, that was one of my favorites too. For that one, it's just really, I, I brought it because I, I'm like a little proud that I managed to get this on focus because um, obviously the camera always wanted to focus on the, focus on, on, the, on, the, on, uh, that's on the drop. It, that is and a tricky focus. And that you, means I really was like, okay, I have to be here. Well, like, you had the manual focus that one, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. And then I was like being like sitting there being like, okay, a little bit more, a little bit more, maybe a little, little bit more. Little more. more right. I wish I could do this with a, like nowadays you can do this phone thing, right? You can have like, see what's on your display right. in the camera on your phone, but it didn't have that. That would have been really that good. That would have been nice. Yeah. Um, and with your D600, you can do that there's, can with I? an icon out. Yeah. You need their little can. wireless modules oh, to plug in the side of it. Oh, changing then, my life. Then, yeah, you can see it on your screen in live view. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. See, that's, I'm so much not the technical person. Like, I'm, I, I, I wish I, but <laughs> I don't know. It'll come, maybe. <laughs> so, right, yeah. Let's see if we got any more questions here. Uh, thanks, Maeve. Uh, Ma yeah, Maeve for the Iceland comment. Uh, fantastic lighting. I wish I could. Read lots all of, of these. Lots of um, love for your photos. Thank you all. Okay, do you ever have an idea in your head that you haven't been able to bring to fruition mm. as you imagined it could have been? In other words, we all have failures. Like, yeah. in other words, you, you went out to go do something that was in your head and it just didn't turn Definitely. out that way. I guess we also have some in the before and afters where I'm like, 
not satisfied in the end. Yeah. I had this idea, but I imagined it in the end to be closer to what I thought and was not. not and then I'm like, right. Gumph, what so can I, I think, do? I think as photographers, we all have those moments Definitely. where you had a great idea and you went to go execute it as best you could and it just didn't turn out no. the way you thought it would. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that it's a failure, it was just a lesson. So you might go out and shoot something that doesn't turn out the way you wanted it to, but then you get something different that may even be better. Sometimes so, that really happens. Yeah. I heard that in a talk here uh, at the Adobe Magazine when, when um, who was that? Victoria Seymour said that mistakes are one of the most the best yeah. things to happen. Right. And you're like, sometimes you get more out of a mistake than you could get out of everything that went correctly. And that was, you that have was pretty inspiring. And you have learning. Yeah. <laughs> That's and it. it's fun. Right. You and the mistakes are learning. Definitely. Um, All right, let's oh, I have some. Do there. Do you bring a few outfits for a shoot, and how much planning uh, goes into a shoot for you? Um, I think most Good often question, I bring. Micah. Yeah, sure. I can. Um, I guess most often I bring one or two dresses. Um, like all just found somewhere in like secondhand shops or whatever. I collect them kind of at home. Mm -hmm. And I always be like, today I'm in the mood for this dress or like the mood, the light that I see outside or the location inspired me to bring this dress. Um, and then for the planning, I mean, really we said that, like most often it's the location or a light that inspires me to do something spontaneously. So it's not that much of planning. We have one other in the before and after uh, folder where I had like a little bit more of planning if I have like a topic or something. Um, and is this like, is this on a playground? Yeah. Okay, I was going to say, <laughs> why would this tube be in the middle of nowhere? So that's no, a playground. No, definitely okay. not. Like, there were actually, that was actually like a little, like, I don't know, like a little children's, I don't know what's yeah, the word. Yeah, like, seesaw, horse, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. exactly, one of these. And did you, here. you took those out? Yeah, yeah definitely. Okay, got it. And then also, um, I was, the camera was placed, I think, on a slide, like on top of the slide mm -hmm. where you climb up. That was, the camera was there and... I was lucky because it was not yeah, that many people on it. So the camera's up on, on a um, slide or mounted mm -hmm. somewhere. And that's when you're you're using a wireless remote Definitely. or timer. I guess it's in that hand. I'm so the one you are there. literally pressing it yeah. every time. Yeah. Are you ever using a timer? Uh, sometimes. If I'm too far away for the remote control to work. Or sometimes if I want to do something with really with movement. Okay. So I have like... Because if you d click the remote control and then it's like two seconds or something, then I'm sometimes not getting the right moment. Right. So I like to do, uh, what you can do on the Nikon D600 is you can um, put it on self timer and then it takes nine photos in like separated with between one, one second all the time. Um, so you can make a movement and make another movement and it always clicks and then you can look at the poses in the end and see which one you like best. Mm -hmm. Okay. That makes sense. Um, are you? I know you're taking the photos because you enjoy doing it. Yeah. Are you taking the photos also to make a living? Definitely. Since like one and a half years, okay. I do that. Like I studied architecture in Munich, um, and but during that time, I realized that my heart is beating for photography so much more than for so architecture. So it's your passion. Definitely, okay. like 100 whatever percent. And um, then when I was done with studying, I was like, okay, you know what? This is like my one life and I want to give it a try. Like I will try to give my best and see if I can make it. And if I can, then at least I know I've tried. All and right. that was what I needed. I had someone approach me on Facebook who I've known for years, used to work with um, many, many years ago, even before Adobe. And she's having an issue with her daughter. Her mm -hmm. daughter's being bullied in school, and it's just mm -hmm. a sad story about um, just what's going on with her daughter. But her daughter's really interested in photography. Mm -hmm. And what I'm gonna do after we're done, I'm gonna send her the link to watch this, and I want you to say something to her daughter yeah. to encourage this she young girl Definitely. how to, what she should do to get started with her photography Definitely. passion. So, talk to her. Yeah, I will. What, what you will send me a link? No, no. I mean, you're going to do it right now. I'm going to send her this oh, link. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, so she's going to hear you um, right now. Like, if you're really interested in something and you know your heart is beating for it, all I can say is that it's so, so, so worth to fight for it and to, I don't know, get other things falling behind probably or like really taking a risk and maybe even like having people around you saying, this is not a good idea. You will never have like uh, any money to buy the next whatever apple you want to eat. Um, but if, I, I guess if you really want it, um, 
there's something inside you that will make things work. I mean, of course, you can never like have things happen. You can never control everything. But I believe uh, that if the passion inside you is big enough, you can definitely reach things that you maybe didn't think you can reach and that others definitely didn't think you can reach. And in the end, if it works out, it's the best feeling ever, 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 ever. Um, and it will like make up for everything that happened in between that felt bad. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> That's perfect. And the, the question I know is, I know the answer to it, but I have to ask mm -hmm. you so you can tell them or tell her. How do you get better at it? How do you like get started if you're new mm -hmm. to photography? Like, what, mm -hmm. what do you recommend to someone just starting yeah. out that they do? I think what helped me was definitely, and everyone says it, but it's true, it's like really shoot a lot. And it's not like clicking, like having your like your fingers stuck on the shutter, um, on the button and like taking a million photos, but like trying a lot of things. Um, I don't know, take your camera to places where you would not, wouldn't normally take your camera. And um, I don't know, try out different perspectives, different genres, different everything. And just do a lot and then look at it and see what, what, what makes you like, keeps you inspired or what, what you think like, um, is something that you're good at, things like that. And then, but I also think, it's just I talked about it recently on my Facebook page, that it's so crazy how we, the longer you do it, the more you lose that thing you have in the beginning, that curiosity kind of, or yes. that, that willingness to experiment. And that's something right, that's so cool. Right, because you get set in your ways, and you Definitely. go out and shoot the same things that you always shoot, yeah, the same way work. that you always shoot. And then you stop doing that, like, I you don't know. You stop discovering, yeah. you stop experimenting, yeah. you stop playing. So I think also basically. another um, thing I would say to do is look at photographers who are not crazy popular. I see so many people who are just not not just starting out, but not that long into the business, mm -hmm. and they're doing so many cool, creative things. You know why? Because they're not afraid to fail. Yeah, because they have no one. They have they nothing will, to lose, will, right? Yeah. So no one they're will out be disappointed. Trying things, they don't have to disappoint anybody. Yeah. They're out doing things without having to worry Definitely. about it. Definitely. And they're I don't I feel like they're young in their photographer heart. Like, Absolutely. And that's something I'm so, I so want to get back to this point where I feel young again in my, in that photographer heart and yes. be like, maybe I should do this, maybe I should do this. But it, that's really hard. It's like we all like grow up right? and we all lose that feeling of being a child. And it's so hard right. to get Just back like to we this. Don't, and we don't play as much yeah. as we used because we're adults and now. I guess right. we don't have to do everything we do as a child, right. like screaming around or whatever. But some things are really, really amazing about children and mm -hmm. kids. And we should, like, I don't know, have them in our daily lives. Absolutely. And that's the same for photography for me. It's a good point. So tell me about this one. This really is a self-portrait. Like I earlier said, like, this is not like a role I played. This is really Laura. Um, I did cut my hair um, one and a half years ago um, to raise money for um, animal rights. Good. Uh, and I was like, hey, if we get if we get $1,000 together donating, um, I will get bald and then uh, it worked out and then I shaved my head and there's a really funny video on YouTube <laughs> how this gets because friends of mine did that ah, it was okay. so funny and everyone was expecting you me to be really friends sad friends to shave your yeah, head the good thing is we had that during that during the shaving too uh -huh. it will always end up with no Ball, hair anyway, yeah. Yeah, no so matter what you really do matter, right? um, and everyone was expecting me to be really sad but I actually enjoyed the the, the challenge of it, yeah. especially if you're doing self-portraits. Well, of course, you were doing it for a good cause. Yeah, also. Yeah. I mean, the that was the number one reason right. anyway. Um, but then also, it was really interesting to have, like, to work with not long brown uh, standard um, uh, beauty, what we, what we see as beauty, but having, like, a, a head without hair, especially as a woman, probably, because in our world, I really s still think people are, like, uh, women have to have long hair. Yeah. That's the beauty idol. And I was so, it was such an interesting, I could talk about this for two hours about the long hair, short hair thing, um, how the world reacts. And I don't know, it was really, really interesting. All right. That's a pool, I, <laughs> abandoned I, stinky I, pool. I, I was going to say, I, I, I don't, right. this is one in your, in your portfolio here so far that I have no idea what's going on here. Yeah, it's, that's what I, I think okay. it's kind of similar to the playground thing yeah. where it's like, Wet. What? Yeah. And I, I don't know. Sometimes I really love when things like this happen, where you're like, um, I don't get what happened here. But it makes. <laughs> I think sometimes I see pictures like that, and it makes me stop a lot more than if I see something that I'm like, ah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, let's move on. Sometimes I'm like, Bleh. I don't know. It was just a weird um, 
I guess it made sense for me a lot being there. It was like a stinky pool in the, in the very morning. And, and you weren't afraid to put your actual that was something, head in it? Because I wanted it to be like connected to the water and have all yeah. these like um, the rings on the water. And I was like, I could do this like putting something in there, but it would be a lot cooler if I really do it. And it's like, I actually love to challenge myself in my photos to be like, okay. come on, you can just shower afterwards. You, your hat won't fall off. I was off, just to be probably. afraid you wouldn't lose your hair. <laughs> yeah, but it was short anyway, okay. so it didn't matter. Um, and then having that little weird pose with a hand being like this, I just maybe also being like, again, maybe something happened to the, her because the of the water. The trigger's in one hand and you're yeah. remote firing. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. I probably raised my, my the, the, the right arm a little yeah. bit, or like the, oh, I'm confused, um, left arm. So I just raised it probably be a click and then put my arm back again and put the hat down. Got and it. yeah, weird though, but sometimes it's cool to not be normal. We have so much things being normal all the time. That was one, for example, where I did not do the trigger thing, but um, do the where the nine photos in a row thing, mm -hmm. because I was doing different poses. I was doing this and I'm um, trying different things. All right. Um, a, a question just popped in my head. It has, mm -hmm. really is not anything to do with any one particular photo, mm -hmm. but I know you use Photoshop for mm -hmm. most of your work. I know you, like for example, at the playground, you remove the, mm -hmm. the things yeah. that were distracting. But when it comes to, let's say, retouching, mm -hmm. retouching gets a bad name because people abuse it. They yeah. go too far. Mm -hmm. You know, retouch and, and the person doesn't look anything like they normally look. Yeah, that's true. And I noticed in your pictures, they all look natural. They look yeah. like you. Oh, you great. didn't, you don't over retouch mm -hmm. or do anything odd. And, and that's, by the way, it's hard to restrain yourself from doing when it's you because you want to get rid of all the things that you don't like about mm -hmm. you. Um, but in, and what do you, what do you? think about when it, when you see a picture that's over retouched or you see what, what advice would you have to give to another photographer I mean I guess that's I guess that's that what you said about like training yourself to stop right. at one point okay. because I think the, the thing is retouching is fun to yeah, make things like retouching. super smooth and I don't know but cleaning can, up is it's nice so easy to go too far yeah that's yeah. so true I mean it's a, it's also like a matter of taste how far is too far yeah. for like different people but um I know, I guess you have to find out what's your taste or what's maybe also what's working if you're like earning your money with it. Okay. Um, and then train yourself in stopping Stop at me. that point. I guess it's probably hard, but I don't know when I stopped that. I guess I sometimes, I looked at a lot of other work because I, we will see other, other ones that are definitely for my taste too much overworked. Um, and I, I think I grow into it that I found out which is my level okay. of being like too much or too less. Got it. I guess it's practice. All right, I don't want to run out of time before we get to your before yeah, and okay. after. So we Have kind of cycle through yeah, these we already. We definitely saw the, the, the main things. Let's go to before and afters here. Oh, that you got a lot of them. So funny. Okay. Are they? We can have like a, a like maybe they look at like this, and then I can pick some. Okay. So which is interesting? Um, we can go through like a crazy one. Is this one? And then two top. and two B. Yeah. Okay. So um, or maybe you see that I don't know what makes more sense with before and afters all the time. This is the final one, and. Um, it, it's so funny to wow. people like um yeah it's weird right that's actually the picture is called normal it's also like a little bit like critical to yeah. uh, our society being like there's so only the way, one time just in case you're not clear this is the after oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is the before yeah just which in is case. also a little bit weird people yeah. are always like how did you put the hands like on the after they're like right. how, how did you put, you do the, that? put the hands right. between the uh, shoulder and, blades and, and like, and like I this like, <laughs> one thing i like that a lot of people would like i would have maybe missed or didn't think mm -hmm. to do. You put the belly button yeah. there. Because and I if wanted you to be like. Right, if you didn't do that, then it would. Then it know. would only be the mouth kind right, of, exactly. or like the, the collarbones. But I was like, I wanted it to be like these magical um, cubes that you can like turn in all like directions, mm -hmm. a little bit like that. And it's also a bit critical to like society being, um, there's only one type of perfection we always see on all the billboards and everything. And I'm like, um, I don't know, sometimes I love to question what is our beauty standard? What is normal? Why is only normal beautiful? Um, like, this is something I'm like, love to think about and maybe poke people to think about it too. Right, this is awesome. Okay. What else do What's we have? Mm, that's also when I just, I mean, wait, don't show okay. this first, this first, show that's this important. Yeah, that's important. Got <laughs> so it. 
at first you definitely see like a, a little landscape with houses and it's desert and you can see a little castle very like blurry in the background and a little bit of stars and a little oasis. I already see it but I'm, I'm not going to say anything. Go <laughs> yeah ahead. and so many people were so surprised when yeah. I showed them before uh -huh. because I don't uh, know can yeah. we do this? Or? Uh, let's, let's do it that way. Yeah because in reality it's a body. Right. And I, I so, saw you, did I, you see it? I saw it only because you were talking that made me look for it but okay. I wouldn't have noticed the right yeah. one. Yeah. I mean, I also love that people maybe find out like the second second or something. So you don't see it immediately, but then you're like, this looks like a hip bone, weird. <laughs> um, and I was just, I came home after a long day at university studying architecture and um, found this little houses that someone throw away from their model building. And I was like, oh, these little houses are so cute. I really want to do something with them. And this is actually like artificial light is from a lamp in a room uh, where I was living. Okay. Um, and then I was like, what could I add to make it like a little landscape? And I was adding some grain. I was like adding some stock with the uh, um, All right. Sean desert. wants to know how come there's no grocery store in that town? A grocery store? There's no grocery store. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, now I feel bad. All right, we have to fix that. I will like edit Add this again <laughs> at some point and <laughs> have a grain. I was like, in my town? No. Oh, this hey, town. Hey, um, yeah. Whole Foods. <laughs> yeah, true. Whole Foods but then we also need like, a, I don't know. A hospital or whatever. Right, yeah. then, then Ooh, this will be ends, hard, but right. we have a castle. But no, this is awesome. And what was your? Where'd you get like the the starry sky from? That's all. That's all stock photography. Okay. Like that's like uh, like coming up now again, right? With the big the big stocked um, topics. Also mm -hmm. in my photography, um, that was like when I in my earlier work. I sometimes really used this. Um, that was actually I think probably free stock that I used at that time because I had literally no money to buy stock. Mm -hmm. um, which I, that, I mean, nowadays it's super cool, right? Because you can oh, buy yeah. stuff like Adobe super. Built, built yeah. yeah. That, that's so cool. And I have to find out more about that. Um, um, so I got like desert in front here and a little bit of oasis and then star texture. I don't even know if that was stars or if I searched for um, payet. Oh, what's the, what's the English word? Payetten? Okay, no, that's probably not existing. That's the German word. <laughs> so just like a unsharp version of something that like glitters. Um, I'm sure it, like it, it was just something like that. Okay. And then search for a hilly thing. That could actually be in one of my own photos with the hills. Um, and then I was zooming in of, and having like little selections on the houses and making that a little bit brighter or darker to add the lights and the doors and had like the photo of the uh, camels walking there. Yeah, that was like completely composed little little things oh, into wait each a other. I noticed on the before you it got the little them. the little houses there, little structures. Mm -hmm. Then here you got the windows and the doors yeah. and all that. To make Is it a little that, bit more. So you added those in yeah. piece by piece. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I could have also drawn them, but I loved how I could just select them in right. Photoshop and then brighten it a little bit, and then it looks like there's light. There you go. It's fascinating. Yeah. yeah. And that was so much fun having that picture and turning it into a completely different world. Oh. I love that. Awesome. What else do we got? Someone saying is the word you were looking for, bokeh. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But I meant uh, the material. No, I, I, know the, I know what you're talking about, and I can't think of the word either. Yeah. But, hmm. So it's not just. It's not that thing. important, actually. Um, what else do we have? I mean, this is one we could look at where I did that over retouching so in you my eyes. The before or after? Mm, doesn't matter. We can also see the before before. Right. So that was just a simple like face, and then the after. Um, oh, hang on. Ah, uh, because we put it, not, we yeah, did put it into a row. So I completely I made it into a doll, this. but that was also my goal. So, I mean, no, still, <laughs> still didn't work. Okay, never mind. Yeah. So that was a, maybe we show the after because the before is not that interesting. It's just showing it's a normal portrait, um, and I completely edited it into like a doll, which was my which was my goal. But I still, I, well, I wouldn't. That, that, that I don't call that over retouching. Mm -hmm. Because you, you're it's trying like the, to make it have a look. look yeah. Right. So that's So different. it was actually a yeah. goal. Um, but normally, if that would be a portrait of someone else, I'd go, oh right. my gosh, please don't do that to anyone right. because this is not the same person anymore. <laughs> exactly. Um, it's just so fun for me to, because I, I think you could imagine this to be maybe a person with like big eyes and a little bit like a, a dull mouth mm -hmm. and like, okay, a maybe weirdly thin neck. And, but I don't know, it was so much fun to reinvent that face. And you can't do that in reality. Like, okay, maybe with a lot of surgery, but that's not what I wanted to do. So right. I just have, like, I don't know, enjoyed so much to change this into another person. Oh, awesome. That was a really a lot of fun. Okay. We next? have a failure would be here. 
Like this not a failure. A failure? No such thing. So that was a really normal before, and the, yeah. the theme was hats. <laughs> and then I was like, um, I don't okay. know if it's the same maybe, in English. Maybe I'll let you have that one. <laughs> that's crazy, right? And it, but it was also so much fun. I photographed that, that, that mushroom. Is that? What is that? It's pizza? a mushroom. Mushroom? Okay. <laughs> I was like, what is that going and on? And it's like there? growing out of that hat. And I imagined this to be so cool. Like, it could have been so cool in my eyes, but then it was like not really blending into the face. And I I've was been kind there. of disappointed. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know, I love the idea, but I will probably not do it again because it's, I think it's kind of impossible to really make this. But you theme. know what? All you need to do is take this, mm -hmm. give it to someone else and be like, desaturate it a little bit, mm -hmm. print it out big in a frame, sell it for a thousand dollars. Okay, I there will think so about that's it. it. That's all you have to do. <laughs> Sounds like actually it's a very art good at idea. That point. <laughs> It was fun. That's what really like. That's why I like it because I just thought about the topic hat and I was like, I don't want to take a photo with a boring hat on her face. Um, I was just thinking, what else could I do? That's kind of a hat. Right. And so I, I just I came up with this. I thought pizza too, but she said mushroom. <laughs> Wait, who says it's pizza? That's well, so funny. Well, to me, I know it looked like pizza at first, but Wait, what's that then? I'm uh, just it melting oh, down. Oh, yeah. So oh, that's yeah, what I was thinking yeah. of was pizza. All right. Maybe it's a pizza hut, actually. Someone's asking, uh, oh, how yeah. long did it take in the post-production? For this one? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know, but it was a long time. Long I mean, time. I really tried to have these things going into the face. It was probably more than an hour, definitely saying, because there's nothing else you can do. So, like, everything else was pretty fast, but then having, like, the combi like the no, when it notice, grows into that air. Notice a long time for her is an hour. Oh, yeah. Because so I, I, I thought she was going to say, like, Two days. Oh my god, no. <laughs> maybe if I would be patient enough to do it for two days, that it maybe would have ended up being really good. But then some, some, I'm like well, getting frustrated. Well, put it this way. I know we're our own worst critic. I don't think this is as bad as you think it is. Oh my gosh, okay. I, think, I don't think it's bad at all, actually. Oh, I'm, I just, just see how it's not completely what, blending. It's not what you were looking for, so <laughs> therefore you're not happy with it. Yeah. I mean, it makes me happy for the funny idea. And no matter who I show this with, it's like, um... What is going on here? You're weird. <laughs> okay, what All else right, do we what's get? Next? Um, we could see this one, for example. Okay. Why I'm kind of getting back to stock things. Which one do you want to do first? It mm, doesn't matter. Right. Let me do that one first. Yeah. Before first. Okay, yeah. Here we go. Because for a very long time, I was only doing like contrast changings and um, uh, colors and something like that. Mm. And then I'm getting back to this That's to, to cool. I don't know, invent a different place because. I didn't know a river like that, like at that point, because yeah. that was in Munich and the other one was shot somewhere else. And then, um, I don't know, I was so keen in changing it into something that was a little bit more adventurous, maybe. And there will always be people liking the first one better, but um, I don't know, I just like to invent little new places. I like this one. I like this a lot. It's just so much fun. And that's why I'm really getting back to being like, it really makes sense to have like a, a big selection of, uh, a collection of, of things that you could use to create new worlds. We could also hop to the next, the next mm -hmm. one. Okay. I love how it chumps. Bing, 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 bing. I, I'm just really studying your before and after work. Very <laughs> good. Thank you. All right. And then what do we have here? Like definitely levitation. Who ah, does not love it? It's so right. much fun. So this and then is my cat the before, there. obviously, we're yeah. shooting her on something. Exactly. And then taking it yeah. out. Yeah. And then the cat had like a weird, like the tail was weird. And I had to edit that too. And skirt, is the skirt a little bit different? Probably, right? Yeah, I made bit. it a little bit more curvy, mm -hmm. um, like liquefied a little bit in. And definitely like reduced, uh, like um, closed down out uh, the chair and made it like the surroundings a little bit wider because I love to have a little bit more space but I couldn't go further away and I think it was already shot with a 35 millimeter and I don't have another one so yeah but it was fun and my cat was walking around being like oh cool what are you doing here and I was like yeah you can stay there that's actually like yeah. I love that it broke the picture a little bit right. it's like you wouldn't expect that cat being there while she's hanging there it's like what is happening here and I love that little detail so thank you her name is Rosa she's the best Rosa <laughs> that was like I couldn't go higher and I didn't have another lens so it, this was the original picture and then I shot like um, just plain uh, photo of the of the fabric mm -hmm. and included afterward like like put it under it and then tried to and I got like a photo of my legs and I got like I think the knee is completely edited like completely like got from like other parts of the body <laughs> and yeah, I think I actually was like, I was taking one photo like this and one photo a little bit like this and like this. And um, I could have done like a whole, what is it called? Brenizer probably, uh -oh. when you stitch photos together. Oh, um, yeah. But I think at that point I didn't really know that exists. Okay. And 
So the after was after is this one. When it's completely like you do you don't see it wasn't one photo gotcha. in the beginning, yeah. That was also something that just fascinated me. It's how you like if you're really limited in your in your options in the reality, how you can just I don't know, fix it. And it wouldn't be possible. How without. often do you shoot? Mm, that's a good question too. Completely depends on the schedule around it. Or it actually also completely depends on my moves. I'm a lot more likely to take photos if I don't feel completely happy. Mm -hmm. If I have things that I want to like work on. Um, when I'm super duper happy, then I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what I do then. Probably like wandering around, going for a walk with my dog, eating ice cream. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Things like that. <laughs> um, and then I'm, if I have some things that I want to think about or work on, that's when I normally like take my camera and wander around and see what happens. Um, and then also if I have like a certain concept or a certain topic in, in my head, then I also start searching so for things. once a week, every day, every yeah, other true. day, on oh. average, on average. Um, I think lately it's rather once a week, okay. which is that's not fair. enough. Not it doesn't enough. feel no, like enough. I would love to shoot at least twice a week, but I don't know, lately I'm like hopping from places to places and I don't know, then it's hard to do things in between. Oh, I'm hoping to do something next week. <laughs> okay. What else do we got? What's next? Um, let's see, which one would I love to also? I don't know, I like also this one for like seeing what you can do out of a normal place. So this was just shot somewhere in Munich in a, like, it was a pretty new school, I think actually. And I sneaked in during a sports lesson or I don't know what and then wow. I created this because I was I'm so in love with concrete it's my favorite material probably yeah. um, and I just love to invent this little city that is going on you can see these other stairs in the background and I just really like um, selected the stairs in a part of that wall and like darkened it down I like copied it and darkened it down on, and for the background um, and then um, I don't know I love that gap in between because obviously yeah. you're like you're like she's casually right, wondering she yeah. yeah what did she do like right. is she superman jumping over that gap and now casually walking on or what's happening i just love that little yeah, i don't goes. know thinking about it okay. mm, oh. still right, mushroom not again the mushroom right. no 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 not the mushroom Go back to the stairs. <laughs> let's don't see the mushroom right. um. interesting <laughs> i like seeing like so your process i like seeing how <laughs> you put that like you added that basically I don't even remember. That was that was actually. I think for this one, I really took three hours or something. Okay. Because there was so many little things to put together and to get the background darker and to. <clears throat> whew. See, my problem is, I can see what you did mm -hmm. and repeat it, mm -hmm. but I would have never come up with the idea in the first place to that's, do it. That's what I think so often when I see other people's work. I'm like, why like, didn't I, I never think of that? To do that? Yeah. It kills me in my head. I'm like, why didn't I think of that? Yeah. Or how do people but come you up did. with these ideas? You thought of that. Yeah, but then again, other people's work is always cooler in my head. No. Isn't like everyone <laughs> thinks no. like that? I just saw a lot of sessions here on the Adobe Max where I was like, oh, I wish I had that idea. Or like really questioning yourself, being like, how did they come up with this idea? It's so incredible, creative. And well, I'm I think you have the <laughs> gift of not only being a great photographer, but also being creative. Oh, I, that's, that's nice of you to say. I will try to believe it in my head. No, and it, it's, <laughs> it's true. Looking at your work is definitely true. Thank you. Uh, loving the stairs, Dawn says. Yoo-hoo, thank you. All right, what's next? Uh, what do we have? Um, we also could show this one. Okay. I was just showing how I like uh, stitched together like several different things. So this was like actually like a plant was originally in this in my mom's, what do you call it? A plant pot? No, whatever. Um, uh, bucket pot yeah tub. something like that yeah. so a plant was originally in there Planter, put the plant yeah. out and um like it was my mom's and then i did that shooting and i fell completely completely fell while i was sitting in there mm -hmm. it was kind of damaged i have like still have a scar on my on my knee so but the whole thing the fell, whole thing fell over. was like boom okay. and it was high kind of and then what do we have for the and that was the result and i was still like Anyway, it was worth it. It's a weird uh, combination of uh, bodies in that thing, yeah. thing that looks like a, a bin. But that's so. all you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So I was like doing one photo where I had my leg up there, one photo with that hand, one Got photo it. with that hand, one photo with that hand. And I had so much fun doing this and composing it in, in the end afterwards. That I was like, okay, bleeding knee doesn't matter. My mom was a little bit angry about the uh, oh, thingy. Oh, I see. Okay. I see what you're doing. I guess they got used to it. Being like, got it. So she ruins things for shot. photos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was just one example. I did yep. a lot of photos. Got it. 
Very we're cool. like coming to an end. We're coming to an end. How much time? I like five. Uh, time we have to time say to goodbye. Time. All right. So, Laura, okay, what do you want, what do you, where, where do you want people to find you? What do you want people to go to? Um, I guess you can find me best on, I don't know, I'm basically kind of everywhere. everywhere? Which is like, nowadays, you have okay. to do it like that, right? But yeah. most active is probably Facebook and Instagram, I guess. Um, if you want to see things really good quality, it's probably rather be hands and flicker. Um, All right. Yeah, so I guess with so. that, I think we're done. So yeah. guys, thanks thank for you everyone so much for and like and hang out, and we're gonna be doing more of these, and we're just gonna be at AdobeLive.com <laughs> for the rest of the show and in the future. So thanks for stopping by, and thanks, Laura. Thank you. Appreciate thank it. all of you. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>